The world is in urgent need for cyberneticians. You can become one very easily. No certification is required. This video will change you, so you can help change the world for the better. Learn the contents of this video thoroughly and become a cybernetician. All it takes is include five maps inside your head and you will be able to look at the way the world works in a very different manner. You will get rid of the traps of reductionist thinking and open your mind to understanding large and highly complex purposeful systems in their management. A pretty big chunk of knowledge, not covered by classical science and still ignored by most universities. Let's start with the following true or false test. How do you answer each assertion? Take a couple of minutes to look at each one. Click pause. When you're ready, click play again to proceed to the next slide. All of them are true. All are true because anyone who pursues some purpose engages in cybernetic thinking to get things done, even if he or she is not aware of it. Cybernetics is a science of purposeful systems, plus the science of controlling communications, plus the science of effective organization, plus the super science of interconnectedness, all at the same time. You can be a cybernetician, just familiarize yourself with and use the cybernetic paradigm deliberately to influence your profession or field of study. Most people think that all science is classical science. They are not aware that cybernetics and systems has become a different way of making science. Classical science has Newton as its chief exponent. It is mostly about transformations of matter and energy. On the other hand, cybernetics is the brainchild of the Macy Foundation group. It deals with the world of differences, information, and purpose. Its methods are very different. Classical science discovered a billiard ball mechanical and predictable universe. Direct cause and effect is king. The syllogism sets the rules of thought to be applied for reaching conclusions. Experiments remove the observer to produce so-called dependable knowledge. The Industrial Revolution is the product of classical science methods. On the other hand, we have Wiener, Rosenbluth, von Neumann, Bateson, McCulloch, Shannon, Ashby, von Furster, Pask, and Stafford Beer, plus countless others. These are the names of some of the beautiful minds that invented cybernetics and helped discover an expanding and ever more complex universe where causality is circular and the borders of thermodynamic chaos produce islands of incredible order called living things. The observer is aware that he is inextricably linked to the models he creates. Cybernetics and systems thinking are, by the way, the scientific approach that made the digital age possible. Map number two has Plato's cave as its theme. If every science is an instance of a particular Plato cave with its own rules and realities, cybernetics is a science that can interconnect many of them through its special language of systems and feedback. This map 
tells us about the evolution of cybernetics in its current status. Cybernetics has not been well understood. It was the product of dozens of beautiful minds. It was the contribution of several scientific disciplines which enabled cybernetics to become a super science. This chart shows the scientists who created cybernetics and the science they came from. Wiener and Rosenbluth were the main founding fathers. Each of these sciences then became transformed by the result of their collaborative effort. Sadly, this is a story which is mostly ignored by all universities. They still cling to the classical departmentalization of science or the atomization of scientific disciplines. The need for change that results from applying cybernetics as the natural follow-through is being ignored. Here is the current state of map number two. It requires you to divorce from the approach to science propagated by most universities. The second map you need to make your own can be found also in more detail in my YouTube video called Cybernetics, the Super Science of Interconnectedness. Cybernetics was invented by the Macy Group right after World War II. It has been called the Big Bang of the Information Age. It has produced the biggest chunk of the apple of knowledge. But sadly, as I said, it is being ignored by almost every university there is. This is map number three, a better known model called the black box. Cybernetics is usually being constrained and reduced to control theory. It is much more than that, but the black box and feedback information play a vital role in cybernetics. Control of the black box's output is gained by taking information from it, from it, the output, and reintroducing this information to change the input. This circular loop is called a feedback control loop. If the loop produces an accelerated behavior, it is said to be positive though not the psychological positive meaning good, and negative if it tends to correct the output towards some desired goal. Cybernetics is therefore much, much more than control theory. This is map number four. It is an application of the law of requisite variety, Ashby's law and builds on the black box. It says that in matters of regulation, only variety absorbs variety. Pretty simple. The work of genius, no doubt. A regulator must match the states of the system under regulation. A thermostat must be able to react to the different temperatures of the room. A dad must have a repertoire of countermeasures to prevent the shenanigans of his son or daughter. Here is Ashby's law used to explain its influence on the viable system model proposed by Stafford Beer. It shows the BSM's three main elements and their relation with the variety equation. Each two-way connection describes a homeostat, another name for a circular control loop. What homeostats control is variety. Therefore, they can be explained in terms of variety or the degree of complexity existing in each element, incoming and outgoing, control and perturbation variety. To do so, they have to amplify the control variety working right to left, and the filter the disturbance variety, working from left to right. If you can explain this and apply it in everyday life, 
you may call yourself a cybernetician. Variety is the technical definition of complexity. Variety is what managers really manage. This is the hidden essence, the key concept to gaining control of anything. Again, Ashby's Law of Requisite Variety says, only variety absorbs variety. This is map number five. It shows the evolution of the viable system model, VSM, beginning with the structure of the human nervous system on the left. The graph in the middle is, as you can see, an arrangement of homeostats that describe the structure of a viable system. On the far right, a more complete model shows the recursive structure of viable systems. Every viable system contains other viable systems and is part of a larger viable system. The VSM must be appreciated in sharp contrast with the organization chart, which is still so popular. In classical management, we are taught to use a top-down approach to management in five easy steps. I call the first top-down approach the rich boy's approach to management. He has the money from his dad and has an idea for a business. So schools of management teach him how to proceed from deciding the objective to the control activities at the end. The VSM approach mimics nature. You can start from the top or the bottom of the model with a loan operator and growing into a huge business. Here is the universal management system, a simplified and more user-friendly version of the viable system model, much easier to understand and remember. Several previous maps are combined. We have a black box, cybernetic amplifiers and filters, inputs and outputs, plus an environment. It makes seven subsystems explicit, cooperation, coordination, direction, planning, identity, plus audit or anomaly detection, the star, and security and safety, the oval with an S shown at the top. This video should serve as a guide to other YouTube videos where I discuss all these subjects in more detail. Please practice being a separatistian and good luck.